Morocco recently experienced a severe earthquake that caused significant damage. France offered $6 million in aid, but the Moroccan government declined the offer. President Emmanuel Macron of France reached out to King Mohammed VI and the Moroccan government, offering support for the recovery effort. However, Morocco decided to accept help from four other foreign nations and has received offers of assistance from many other countries. The French government had pledged 5 million euros, 5.4 million dollars, to aid organizations working in the earthquake-affected areas. President Macron, in a video message addressed to the Moroccan public, expressed his deep concern and solidarity with the Moroccan people, emphasizing that France stands ready to support them in their time of need. Macron stressed that the decision to accept aid from France ultimately rests with King Mohammed VI and the Moroccan government. He assured them that France respects their sovereignty and will respect their decision. The refusal of aid from France comes amid a strained bilateral relationship between Paris and Rabat, particularly concerning the issue of Western Sahara. Morocco has been urging France to recognize Western Sahara as Moroccan territory leading to tensions between the two nations. These tensions have resulted in the absence of a Moroccan envoy in Paris since January. Meanwhile, Morocco's King Mohammed VI visited victims of the earthquake in a hospital and donated blood to support the injured. The death toll from the earthquake has risen to 2,901, with 5,530 people reported injured. Egypt has declared three days of national mourning in solidarity with Moroccans and Libyans, who also suffered from devastating floods. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has ordered the army to provide humanitarian aid and rescue teams to support survivors in coordination with Moroccan and Libyan institutions. Despite rejecting aid from France, the city of Paris has committed to offering 500,000 euros in support of the victims affected by the earthquake. In addition to this, the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, IFRC, has launched an emergency appeal for $112 million to provide critical needs such as water, sanitation, and shelter to those impacted by the disaster. However, it has been reported that a significant number of survivors residing in remote mountain settlements are still struggling to access the much-needed aid, leading to frustration and feelings of abandonment among the affected population. As the recovery efforts continue, the Moroccan government faces the daunting task of coordinating international support and ensuring that all assistance reaches those in dire need. The decision to decline aid from France has further highlighted the complex geopolitical landscape and the delicate balance between national sovereignty and international cooperation in times of crisis. The world is closely observing Morocco's response to this devastating earthquake, with a hope for a swift and effective response to alleviate the suffering of its people. The situation remains fluid, and it is essential that the international community continues to work together to ensure that the victims of this disaster receive the necessary support to recover and rebuild their lives.